This case is just one that gets my blood boiling and you'll see why. On October 28th, 2016, the Garland County Sheriff's Office received a report where an eight-year-old female was the victim of SA in the area. Now, in the report that they received, the suspect in the case was a person that the child referred to as Uncle Tracy. It took a few days, but on October 31st, 2016, the eight-year-old victim was interviewed at the Cooper Anthony Mercy Child Advocacy Center there in Hot Springs, Arkansas. The eight-year-old victim revealed that Uncle Tracy lived in her home and that she told her mother, Gloria Pace, several times that Uncle Tracy was touching her. The victim told her mother that Uncle Tracy pulled her pants down and when Gloria asked Uncle Tracy, Uncle Tracy lied. The victim in the case did say that Gloria, the mother, would tell Uncle Tracy to go to his room, go outside, or leave and not come back until his mind was right. Which, like, what is even happening? You know that your daughter is being touched to leave and don't come back until your mind is right? What good is that going to do? During the course of the interview, the eight-year-old revealed that Uncle Tracy had assaulted her in a variety of different ways. A variety. That same day, on October 31st, 2016, Gloria Pace was interviewed by the Garland County Sheriff's Office. And during the course of the interview, Gloria said that her daughter never told her that Tracy Bronson touched her. She gave it the old, well, I don't know what you mean. She did say that Tracy Bronson was her fiance and he was staying in her home. According to Gloria, in February of that same year, 2016, so that's what, eight months earlier, the Hot Springs Police Department contacted her because they received a report of S.A. involving her daughter and Tracy Bronson. She also said that in June 2015, so a little over a year earlier, the same S.A. allegations came up in Florida. But according to Gloria, both of those cases were closed. I don't know how many times a person has to be accused of assaulting a child before someone listens. This is, in, it's insanity. Here's the part that just really just pushes me over the edge. It was found that on February 2nd, 2016, a detective with the Hot Springs Police Department interviewed Gloria about those SA allegations involving her eight-year-old daughter and Tracy Bronson. And during that interview, Gloria said that she understands that it's possible that Tracy Bronson is guilty of the allegations. But she told the detective, this is a quote, I will vacate daughter from premises. When she was asked how she was going to protect her eight-year-old daughter because Tracy pays her bills. At least that's what she said whenever they asked why she would make her daughter leave and not Tracy. So Gloria Pace was arrested and charged with permitting the abuse of a minor. By this time, Tracy Bronson had gone to Florida and he was arrested in Florida on the charge of rape. Tracy Bronson was also charged as a habitual offender because he had been in quite a bit of trouble. He had been in prison several times in Florida, and he was also a registered sex offender in the state of Arkansas because of an earlier charge. And that earlier charge actually came from a relative of Gloria Pace. It was a girl. She was around 15 years old when she came to Gloria's house, and she was just visiting, and Tracy Bronson would not keep his hands off of her. The victim in that case alleged that Tracy Bronson was grabbing her butt and her breast every time that she walked by Tracy. He was also trying to get her to kiss another younger female teenager that was there at the home. So Tracy Bronson did not take a plea deal in this case. Instead, he decided that his best chance was at a jury trial. At that jury trial, it came out that Tracy Bronson had accepted a plea deal in the case where he was charged with essaying a relative of Gloria Pace's, that minor girl, that minor girl told her mother and then charges were filed. He did plead guilty to a misdemeanor in that case, which allowed him to stay free, but also register as a sex offender. It also came out that the eight-year-old victim in this case had injuries to her vaginal area that signified that she had been the victim of Great. And I think that any evidence like that would be difficult for anybody to get past. 
There was also a phone call from jail. Yes, jail phone calls. Everybody should know by now that they are recorded. So there was a phone call from jail where Tracy Bronson called Gloria Pace and she accepted the phone call. He called her for her birthday. It's so messed up that her children were taken away. She was facing charges. He was facing charges. And yet she is taking his phone calls. But during the course of that phone call, Gloria Pace was talking about how she was angry because she was having to go to court the next day over the situation with her kids and Tracy Bronson. And Tracy Bronson pretty much said, like, why are you mad at me? I only did as much as you let me do. And of course, in that phone call, she was like, well, I never let you do anything. And he was like, well, that's what I'm saying. But it really doesn't make a lot of sense that way. That was brought up in court. And in court, he said that he didn't know what it meant or what he meant by that. That was just something that he said in the heat of the moment. But I think we all know what was meant by that because Gloria Pace permitted her child to be abused a lot. And even after the accusations came up and the child went to the Child Advocacy Center to be interviewed, Gloria Pace was also interviewed and told the interviewer that her eight-year-old daughter had a fascination with playing with herself and that she started wetting her pants. And I don't know, the whole thing makes me feel icky. Like, was Gloria Pace trying to talk poorly about her daughter? Like, my eight-year-old, she plays with herself and blah, blah, blah. So I could see how she could come up with these allegations. Or was she just saying, this is what's been going on, and she missed the red flags there. I don't know. Tracy Bronson was found guilty of grape at his jury trial and the jury had no sympathy for him whatsoever. He was actually sentenced to 70 years in prison. By the time Tracy Bronson is eligible for parole, he will be 97 years old. I think that that's a good and fair sentence if I'm just being honest. My issue is with Gloria Pace. In 2018, Gloria Pace accepted a plea deal. She pled guilty to permitting abuse of a minor involving sexual activity and was sentenced to 72 months in prison. That's just six years. And if I'm being honest, I don't think that that's right at all. I think that Gloria Pace played almost a, as big a role in this as Tracy Bronson. I think that she knew that her daughter was being abused. And I think that that was just fine with her because she was getting her bills paid and she was getting attention that she wanted. So that she just made a deal with the devil, basically, in my opinion. But I think that women should be charged more in line with what men are charged for similar crimes. Why are they not? Why is one woman who is charged with, you know, let's just say first degree SA given a slap on the wrist where a man is charged with the same crime and given 10, 15 years in prison. It's, it's, I don't think that it's right. I think that those charges are just as harmful, whether they are coming from a man or from a woman. So that really bothers me. But what bothers me even more so is that twice since she originally got out of prison, Gloria Pace has been arrested and charged with failure to register as a sex offender or failure to report a new address. And she has been given basically slaps on the wrist, suspended sentences for those two charges and the fact that she continues to get in trouble and it's like eh, no big deal that bothers me even more now, right now gloria pace is in prison on what i suspect would is a parole violation on that original charge in june of 2023 she was given a one-year denial so she'll be coming up for parole again probably here in a few months so down in the comments, tell me what you think about this case and about the difference in sentencing. Does it bother you or do you think the sentencing was fair?